Let's go. And most traps set up don't want to get sick because they're getting in your food and stuff. I'm Greg Ovens. I'm Amos Rodriguez. And this is the 30 day survival challenge, Vancouver Island. There's only one rule. If you want to eat, you're going to have to catch and cook it first. Uh, cheers. cheers, man. If you're just tuning in, don't forget to check out the link in the description below for the series playlist so you can start on episode one. And when this episode's over, check out that playlist and you can watch Amos's side of the adventure. Morning. I think what the plan is today is we need fish again and I think this time uh, my legs are feeling better I'm gonna go with the most and we'll both see if we can get a salmon or maybe two that smoked salmon was very nice very good uh, we had it really smoking at one point with a pile of chips it turned out well but it's to the point where we need some more salmon to uh, keep our energy up we did find a good fishing spot but it just takes a lot of effort to get there. But today's priority is at least to get one fish. It's time to pick up the fishing on my end. I'd like to get a fish too, almost. I gotta try to find, I brought some clean clothes and I haven't really seen them anywhere. I don't have a lot of clothes, but other than a moose, who's gonna smell me out here? The bears, I guess. How do you lose your clothes, eh? Well, if anyone can do it, I can. Go back up to the first site. Check there. So this is where we were in this area. I'll just keep looking. Look at all the kelp. I think I was in this area here, unless it was further down. Oh, just wait, I think I see them. Oh yeah, just sitting on a log over here. Yeah, okay, well there we go. Just, oh, and look at this. Camera gear even. and shotgun shells. So the gun wouldn't have done us any good anyway. So here's all my stuff just sitting here. Uh, at least it didn't wash away. I'd lose my head if it wasn't attached sometimes. I don't know how many times I've lost knives, axes, saws, even on the alone show, always losing stuff. Starting to rain. Yeah, there's the rain. Uh oh. We need it for the fire ban. For the fire ban, we need it for the plants, we need it for the fish to come in. So I should say yes, please. So, what I'm thinking I'm going to do is write an album, music album. And uh, it's going to be songs all about bushcraft. You know, there will be songs like uh, The Fish Broke My Line. I'm going to have two songs dedicated to all the participants of the Alone Show. Uh, the first song is going to be Just Make It Stop. Uh, the other one will be Who Will Stop the Pain. My favorite song is going to be called Man Don't Put the Fire Out. And it's basically going to be uh, based on the true story of a hiker in the jungles of Papua New Guinea. And he gets lost and has to make a bow drill kit so he spends all day making a bow drill kit and you know then he's off he finally gets his fire going and he's off looking for firewood for the night and a native papuan from a tribe comes by sees the unattended fire and puts it out right then the man comes back with his firewood and that's all he can say man don't put my fire out I mean, that's going to be a real tearjerker uh, based on a true story. And, um, you know, I really didn't like it when he uh, put the fire out there. We got to get on with our day and get fishing here, but I thought you might want to hear about my album. And uh, hopefully you'll support it and uh, maybe it'll even go platinum. Did 
this for right now. And I think you catch one with the Canada fly one. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> I feel sorry for Elmos. We got up near the top of the trail, which is the worst of the hike on the whole journey to the cove because it's steep and uphill and he forgot his fishing pole. He has to go all the way back to camp. He'll be gone 40 minutes probably now. Like it's bad enough to make the trip once in a day, but then to get halfway and uh, forget something that you actually need, that's... Uh, Another story. Poor Amos. I think he's kind of like me with his luck. I mean, I always lose stuff. And I saw season seven, he had his shelter burning down and um, he tripped and fell on those logs and hurt his hand. And um, I think him and I are getting along so well because we're so similar. We can empathize with each other. Like, I feel for him going back down there. You gonna let me have it? Let go, let go. Can't throw it if you don't give it to me. Give it to me then. Come on. Let go. Ha. So down to the cove we go. The mouse wants to crawl under that. It's only a foot and a half. I'm gonna go over. Nope. It's time for a break for me. These young guys, nothing but energy. <laughs> he, he's done so much more hiking than me, but. This would make a uh, good base for a shelter. Lots of places to put boughs and uh, logs and sticks, whatever, to make a nice shelter here. I love the rainforest. I love the rainforest. There's some obstacles, but all in all, pretty nice trail. There's some huckleberries, but they're way up high. That's a big, tall bush. If we get enough rain, the salmon will be in this river or creek. Sun's starting to come out. There's a bear track. Been walking the beach. So the bears are getting ready for the salmon too, obviously. Just a little black bear, but he's been here. hiding his secret spot from me but uh, when the tides low like this the creeks really low too so I don't know about salmon in here really probably got a knife here on the other side of this you can't drink that Finn you can't drink that water there's a creek up there Finn yeah well like I said he'd probably get one while I'm gone or before I get here. Just trying to get down here. 
so I can see ammos catch more fish. Oh! It's like a bass. It's like a sea bass type of thing. I think that is a sea bass, isn't it? Yeah. Looks like a bass type of fish. Oh. Sorry, fish. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna keep. Well, I don't know. I think we're after salmon, aren't we? Yeah. I'd let it go. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> You're just like me. Yeah, it's so sleeping in here. Is this where you meant? Yeah. And it's is this is this off. where is this where you were catching salmon? Yeah, they were chasing a big drop off. Uh the river pretty much exits over there. Not that many seaweed, super deep all over there. But a lot of seaweed, eh? No, as much no. as where we've been fishing, man. There's just a couple of them. You can see them right there, so you can avoid them. Okay. Well, maybe I'll go to this point down here. Okay. Try That's down right there. by the river, but there is more bull kelp over there. Yeah. <laughs> Somewhat treacherous, I would say. Gotta be careful. Be careful, Finn. No, you go. I don't want you getting hurt. Come over here. This is better. I'm going to teach you how to fish one day. in the ocean I almost caught them all <laughs> fishing takes a lot of patience Now Mo said he saw a salmon jumping out from the point here. I didn't notice him, but now Mo, he just caught a salmon. So right on. Wish I could catch one. I just keep getting forced out of my spots and the tide's coming up and I keep getting soakers here. Whoa! Jeez. This is what I keep catching. Soaked. Just great. I can't find a spot where the waves aren't splashing me. me using the same colors as Moses. Well, at least he got a salmon. 
I see them jumping in the river here, but I still can't catch one. It's ridiculous. He's probably under that, those weeds. Yeah. Amos just had another fish and he dropped it in this pool here and it got away. Did you just have another bite? I think so. And he's using the same stuff as me. And I'm not getting bites. This might be a Chinook. He's a really strong fish, man. He's been fighting. Big. Ah. Can barely handle it. Oh, yeah. I cannot lose this fish. This is a lot of food. Because he's not tired. He's a big fish, man. Try to get him up in these rocks here. Yeah. He doesn't want to come, man. He went through the rocks, around the rocks, man. Oh, hopefully we can land it. There it is. Ah. Yeah. Just don't let him go. Thank goodness it's his limit. Maybe I'll get a chance. Oh, my <laughs> That's a nice one, man. That's a beauty. <laughs> It's like cleaning a deer, it's so big. It's so big, it's like cleaning a deer. <laughs> <laughs> we got no way across. Uh oh. We took too long cleaning the fish. We gotta do it really quick right here, right now, before the tide gets bigger. Uh, uh. On those rocks? Over there. Yeah. yeah. Before the tide gets bigger. Okay. Well, okay, we made it. <laughs> Waited too long until the tide came up and blocked our passage, but hey, look at that. It's worth it. Well, a mouse comes through for us. Lots of fish. And uh, we have enough fish. We don't have a refrigeration unit, so we have to deal with the fish. There's no point catching more. But we got lunch, breakfast, probably dinner again tomorrow, just with the three fish he did get. And that was a beautiful coho. That uh, must be an eight pounder. Okay, well, I'm walking along here, and one of our favorites, I see some uh, sulfur shelf, chicken of the woods, and hopefully these ones aren't corky like the other ones. A couple of nice looking ones in there. There's lots back over there, but we can only eat so much, so I just want to make sure they're tender. See, this one is absolutely tender all the way. They feel pretty tender. That's not so tender. That's the corky part I was talking about. 
I'm not going to destroy the whole mushroom. Okay, probably leave that one alone now. I think we got enough. Then he just keeps appearing and disappearing. Uh, he's like uh, children of the corn. He just pops out of nowhere. Rest time. But I want to check on my first batch of radishes. Oh man, look at this. Now that's more like it. Oh, well, that's exciting. I don't know how many is there. Quite a few, as you can see. Oof, 60, maybe? This will be cool if they actually mature. I'm going to be very happy. So the waves crashing in. Actually, this is as high as we've seen the tide. I hope it doesn't come in here where camp is, but I don't think it will. Just for reference. <laughs> Well, it's a bigger, it's a good one. That's a nice fish, man. Yeah, that's a beauty. It's a beauty. Keep the head for soup, probably the tail too. Cut it in half and uh, hope it fits in this frying pan. This is Almos's frying pan. We've been using mine for uh, smoking chips, so it's not the best anymore for cooking. Should fit. Ready, man. Yum. Yum, yum, yum. So good. Worth getting wet for, eh? Totally. Absolutely was worth it. That was quite the, f <coughs> the fight that big guy put up with. Or man, when he gave you. The corner on the rocks. And my line was just sliding on the rocks. I thought I was going to lose it. Me too. Dynamite. Perfectly cooked it. Perfect. You don't want to dry. dry it out. Yeah, you don't want to dry out this quality fish, man. I, I don't get sick of uh, mushrooms or fish. Um, these mushrooms should be really tender. You can tell they're not stiff and corky. You can almost tell where you have to break it because in a circle along here, where it's the most tender. This is gonna be a little woody. A little bit of that too, I guess. Pick them out by hand. Oh wow, that's yeah, unreal. You're almost peppery and tasty, that's so good. Those are so good, it's unreal. Wow, we did good today. Yeah, good one, yeah. man. Yeah, can't even stay out of these. Wow. 
might go hungry tomorrow, but not today. Not today. <laughs> not today. <laughs> That's pearly everlasting. You can make tea out of that too. So, fish head soup, tail, whatever spine we have left, the skeleton part for sure. Throw these stalks from the mushrooms in too, just for flavor. Throw a little bit of meat in. Mmm, that's good. No, 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 no. Please, please leave me alone. It's been a hard day. I know you're a good boy. I know. But it's not always about sticks. For you it is. So, the verdict is in. My leaves are just withering up. It's not really going to do the job. So it looks like I wasted all that time. We're probably going to end up using the tarp when we do smoke. Not all projects work out in a survival or bushcraft situation. I have an empty coffee container now that I'm going to keep the butter in because of the mice. I do not want mice in it, which reminds me. I think I'm going to make my mouse trap because I don't like mice in camp. That's why mice they keep getting in our pots and our frying pan and our coffee cups I mean I hung my coffee cup up now because I'm tired of cleaning it out because of them sterilizing I mean you don't want to get a uh, hantavirus or something from these stupid things I'm gonna set up a little uh, trap it basically avoids the figure four uh, trigger system very very simple I think you'll like it I got three here you can see. I'm going to cut this one off. And I want to sharpen the one shorter end. Then my trigger stick. I'll go in between. Down in there tight on the angle. I think this will work just fine. Nice flat rock here. That'll work. Oh, look at this guy. That's a nice base. And then this could be my kill rock. I don't really like that one. This one is good for a flat base. The great outdoors. The great outdoors. I love it. We have another flat rock here. I want this to be fairly level. My trigger system too tall I can tell I'm 
quite a bit too high still. Kind of like that. Fitting this little hole here. I think I need a different stick. Okay, I got a couple of different ones here. And then it's kind of a balancing act. There. Okay. Because I don't have a tight Y here, then I have to tie my bait stick. I'll just tie a little piece of fish we have on there. Actually, I'll try to poke the fish on first. Actually, that'll probably work just like that. Just not the perfect rock. It's just swiveling is my problem. Okay, there. Well, as long as the wind doesn't blow it. Well, I tell you, bedtime again. Time is flying by and we're getting by. Uh, I got my mouse trap set up now, so hopefully we catch that little, uh, what do you call them, a thief, I guess. I mean, and, and the thing is, you don't want to get uh, sick because they're getting in your food and stuff. They're just filthy. They're cute, but they're filthy, so you don't want to get sick. What you find, too, when all you eat is fish, fish constantly and this and that, is you don't have... A lot of energy it doesn't really give you a ton of energy the soup kind of hydrates you gives you a little boost but you know you almost need those berries for the fructose and that gives you the energy as well but we're doing a lot of work packing a lot of gear doing a lot of miles so I'm assuming we're burning a lot more calories uh, than what we're getting so slowly we're deteriorating and that's what uh, Survival's about deteriorating until you die. <laughs> Just kidding. No, it's about getting by, but sometimes you feel weak, lightheaded. We both have had uh, head rushes and dizzy spells, and it's just because we're pushing ourselves so hard every day. Two weeks from now, what kind of shape are we going to be in? Especially if we don't maybe catch fish for a few days. I hope you're enjoying the series so far. Amos is a great partner and companion to do this project with and I really wouldn't want to do it without him. He's the best and uh, stay tuned for tomorrow. We'll see you in the morning. Good morning. It's raining. I don't know what we'll get up to. Maybe just projects in under the shelter, under the big tarp. What else do you do in the pouring rain? We're just going to get soaked. I didn't bring rain pants. I do have a rain coat. The problem is the bush is so thick, you, your whole body gets wet. Your boots, your pants, everything, you get soaked. Kind of getting into the rainy season on the island here. Maybe there'll be breaks in the rain so that we can do things. Grinding on salt. And oh yeah. Maple syrup. Maple syrup? Uh, check my mouse trap. I might have to make another one. I didn't really like the way the rocks were. They weren't balancing properly. That's the key to these mouse traps is to have rocks that kind of sit nice and flat and then it's not so hard to set your trigger system. I was having trouble setting the trigger system. They just weren't balancing properly on each other. Got the trail cam here so that if I did get any action I would have seen it but our trap is still set but I want to try to find a couple of better rocks I can use a flat piece of wood on the bottom too yeah it's a majestic ocean the Pacific on this coast but just constant waves non-stop day and night so not ideal fishing right here unless you get in a cove like which we found and Elmos he's he's caught like four coho in that spot that that was a real nice big one that gave him a fight yesterday 
Uh, but now we've got fish for a couple of days, soups for a couple of days. I've been doing it just by eye, just by looking at the tips, uh -huh. to see if they line up. But if you want to check if your eyes are right, then you can throw a string like this. Very cool. I hope it works for you. I'm so just sitting here having my coffee and I heard the uh, rock trap go off. I don't know if there's anything in here. Nope. This went off on its own. You see that, eh? One full pot of water in about five seconds off the turn. That's how hard it's raining. Enough for coffee in a few seconds off the turf. I got soaked in just going to check the creek. Just a couple minutes mm -hmm. out there and soaked, completely soaking wet. Rain has been non-stop for hours now. As you can tell. <laughs> so it's a monsoon. It's a monsoon in here. Uh, that might leave the fire ban and that might bring the big fish closer to shore, but it makes it hard for making videos, it makes it hard for going out and forage. But we're here working a uh, camp and waiting out the rain. With this torrential rain, it might be nap time. I'm just gonna have to wait it out for now. But mind you, here on the island, I mean, it could be like this for a week straight. I don't really feel like collecting material for my thing right now, my set line. Well, listen to that rain now, I'll tell ya. It's raining cats and dogs right now. And I can't afford to go out there and get soaked. I'd be soaked in about two minutes. Because there's a fireman, go figure, and uh, we wouldn't be able to dry out. But maybe after this rain, uh, they'll lift that band so we can actually do some fire stuff. Because, uh, boy, you don't want to get soaked in this and then you can't dry out. I can hardly uh, hear myself think it's raining so hard and actually this tarp is dripping once in a while it's raining so hard it's working its way through the tarp oh don't tell me we're gonna get driving rain sideways now that wouldn't be good oh yeah she's just coming down this is like kind of rain you get in the monsoons so if they don't lift the fire ban, they're on glue. Not very productive, but I mean, it's, what do you do, eh? Amos Rodriguez Survival and Ovens Rocky Mountain Bushcraft are brought to you by Fowler's Maker and Mischief Studios. Check out our shop here. And for the next video in the series, hit the link here. And don't forget to subscribe to Amos's channel and Ovens Rocky Mountain Bushcraft here. And thanks for watching the 30 Day Survival Challenge, Vancouver Island.